Right now, it's time to welcome in Ruth Epstein from the Republican American. Ruth covers our area for the Republican American. Her stories can be found in the paper and also online in the paper at rep-am.com. Good morning, Ruth. Hi, Marshall. You and I are laboring. Yeah, you know, <laughs> well, it's, it's, you know it's, it's, what the heck, what else would we do? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Not much else. Camp party. So uh, we're, I ha- we're at it. I, I have to uh, give uh, good credit to the Republican American uh, for breaking a story that uh, I had only heard rumors about, uh, and uh, the Republican American broke it this weekend, and that is the end of the Gear Adult Daycare Center. Yeah, that was uh, a sad day. Uh, that, that, service is so crucial to so many families in the region, and uh, according to the press release, um, they just felt they couldn't safely keep it going. Um, this is the program that uh, gives uh, seniors um, socialization. They come each day for uh, meals and, and interaction with others, and uh, it, transportation is provided. Uh, from many, many towns, and uh, it also, more, most important, well, as importantly, gives respite to caregivers who are taking care of elderly uh, parents. So, um, yes, it's been there for as long as I can remember, in it's, some form or another. And it, it it's, is, you know, it's, it's an expensive program uh, to, yes. to run. Uh, yep. The towns uh, have to chip into it, uh, and also uh, gear, um, and it's always been under pressure uh, for finances, but when you uh, add the addition of uh, COVID-19 into the mix and all the extra work and all the extra safety that has to go into it mm-hmm. and the extra money, um, it's it's it became obviously an untenable situation. But you, you're right. You feel sorry. Uh, I feel sorry, uh, obviously, for the people that use it. Mm-hmm. Um, but you're absolutely right. I, I was a caretaker for my mom for seven years. And, uh, and you know what? Um, Whenever the uh, Visiting Nurse Association came over or else uh, Meals on Wheels and it would give me a break for mm-hmm. 25, 30 minutes to an hour, it's just, it was, it's just a, a much-needed break, and it's a break that still gives the one you love companionship and, and, right. and things exactly. to do. Yeah. And, I mean, I've covered many uh, functions there, and it's just um, to see the smiles on their faces when they're having a birthday party or a picnic um, and the Tender, loving care of the staff there was has, was always marvel. I, I marveled at it all, all the time. So um, it's un- very unfortunate. And speaking more of another health care uh, facility, we are doing a story on Salisbury Visiting Nurse Association merging with Foothills and uh, North VNA Northwest. Um, that story should be out any time now. Um, it is now called Visiting Nurse and Hospice of Litchfield County, and um, some, I mean, Savina's been there for 115 years, I think they said. Um, so um, some changes there. Uh, the 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 um, office will remain open. Uh, there will be some staff changes, um, and uh, again, it's uh, financial. These organizations just can't make it. Well, if you have to offer these services, uh, uh, you, there is strength in numbers, uh, and and this is the way to do it. So, mm-hmm. I mean, you're still going to see most of the same people that you've that, that you've seen, uh, because each serves a certain community, a certain section of the community, and we'll keep doing that. But uh, this is the, this is the pressure. Uh, that we're all under. Uh, there's financial pressure for these for these nonprofits to do this and and to help out mm-hmm. and to be additional. Uh, and there's financial pressures and the financial pressures, especially during a pandemic. I mean, yeah, plans have to be made. Obviously. Well, they talked. You know, um, it will be more efficient because um, obviously there's a duplication of services or or of uh, offices and back office businesses and things like that. Um, so it will help, uh, and they say, you know, patients will see no changes. It will be a seamless transition. Um, but it's different. Um, oh, yeah. And Nancy Deming, who is the um, uh, executive director of SENA, will remain here as the director of clinical nursing. So, um, yeah, it's just ch- change, Marshall. We're yeah. seeing change all over. And, uh, and 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 
And you know what? This change would have come sooner or later, but the circumstances we've been living under for the past uh, six, seven months uh, uh, precipitated and, spe- and and have sped up a lot of different things. Yep, yep, yep. Now, there's a good news story that's in your paper, and that is uh, the Goshen Fairgrounds. Uh, uh, there was no Goshen Fair this year, but they decided to get together and raise funds uh, and have a drive-through food truck fair, and it's been going on this weekend, mm-hmm, and it's going to mm-hmm. go on today, and it's going to wrap up today. Yep. Yep, and uh, so always good to see something that people can go to and at least get out a little bit uh, safely. And uh, so uh, head over to the Goshen Fair Fairgrounds uh, if you want to do something today. Yep, last in, day. So. In in fact, I have determined that I would like to be a food truck namer because uh, Marshall was listing some during the news story, and I. Well, was, most most of those Johnny are, Potato. Yeah, yeah, most of those are, are those vendors are, are the vendors that that worked at the fair and they came up with this idea, uh, and I think I think it's a great idea. Yeah. It goes to benefit charity. It helps the fairgrounds stay active and mm-hmm. it gives people something else to do. Like the Sharon Playhouse this weekend had the sh- the drive through show on Saturday and Sunday. The movie next week there's the fundraiser for the Equus Effect mm-hmm. over in Amenia right, at the right. movie theater, and yep. once again another fundraiser for the movie house on Sunday. Not These only drive through things so it keeps the, it keeps you involved and active in, in uh, all these organizations. thinking outside the box these well, people are clever and yeah. not 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 only that it's a revived drive-ins pretty much all across the country so yeah want to give yeah. them credit yep and using sources that hadn't been used so it's great it's called it's outside <laughs> and we and we get set to go back to school ruth we do tomorrow region one opens um and it's going to be very interesting uh, we have all kinds of uh, formats and procedures, and uh, parents have uh, opted to send their kids. Some have opted to keep them home, do distance learning, do homeschooling. Um, uh, and we'll be watching closely to see what happens uh, because, as I keep saying, Lisa Carter, our interim superintendent, says anything could change in a minute. Drop so. of a hat, absolutely. And we had a story this week about a bridge in Cornwall that people are upset about. Uh, It's being redone, and uh, they like the old bridge, the historic bridge, but um, times change, and so there's going to be uh, a different look to it. Uh, People were not happy. Uh, We also covered, as you said, the vintage uh, parade. It wasn't like we used, used to. I mean, the parade was fine, but it didn't end in Falls Village where you and I could uh, gather and, and uh, see all the cars at the car show. But nonetheless, it brought out people, and there was a lot of honking and waving. Um, there will be some activity. There is activity this weekend at um, in Falls Village as Toy Makers closes down. Today's its last it's day. Last I day, hear yeah. crowds of motorcycles have been there to say goodbye Um Again, it's a sign of the pandemic. The bidos just can't keep it up when it's the weather gets cold and they don't have the space inside. So another um, another you know, uh, important part of the community closing down, which is sad. Um, and uh, politically, Brian Oler has been endorsed by the Independent Party. He is running, as we know, in, in a rematch with Maria Horn for the 64th House seat. Um, Brian uh, lost narrowly to Maria in, uh, in two years ago, and they're facing off again. All right, Ruth, with that being said. Okay, guys. We'll check well, with en- you next Monday. Enjoy, Good luck out there. Enjoy your day. Take care. Take care. Uh, Ruth Epstein from the Republican American with the Republican American Report here on Robin Hood Radio.